power USB charger. Um, this project requires a lot of soldering once I put all the wires together. Hi, my name is Joseph Rosales. This is um, summer school class of 2017, 21st century learning. And my project is the mini SNES Nintendo system. It has over 800 games. So what and my project is, it's a uh, distance detector made of an Arduino board. Um, a 9 volt battery, jumper cables, LEDs, resistors, a sensor, a buzzer, and a breadboard. And what this does is it uses the LEDs to tell you the measurement of an object that you place in front of the sensor. So if you, it registers from 30 centimeters and every five or so centimeters you get closer, a different LED lights up and it, the buzzer emits a different frequency for the specific LED that's lighting up. My project is on the smart mirror. As you can see, I have it running up right now. It displays the weather, the news, and the time, and the current date. And so far, I've got the project built right here. I'm looking for a acrylic see-through mirror that is going to be placed over the monitor. And as you all know, acrylic see-through mirror, it allows light to pass through it. Um, testing. So my project is made from the Makey Makey and I use it as a piano simulator and I use Scratch.com to help me with it and uh, one of the challenges I faced with it is coding for each key. So my hands, my fingers represent a key from piano and um, what I had to learn from this is I had to learn how conductive connecting works to make the keys work and I had to learn coding for each key to make a different sound. One of my projects was to create a live stream that can access through either my phone or any computer with SSH. Um, and that works as long as the Raspberry Pi has power. And then my second project was to create a um, time lapse that's converted to a GIF file. And then um, if I ever did another project with Raspberry Pis or Arduinos, I would probably do something with simple electrical engineering. So uh, this project uh, is the RetroPi SNES uh, system. Uh, basically it consisted of uh, down or uh, installing the RetroPi operating system, uh, building the cases or designing the cases and then uh, placing the proper uh, monitor and the Raspberry Pi into uh, the 3D printed uh, structures. Okay, so what my project was, it was a uh, Raspberry Pi with uh, two types of sensors and a switch. And what the first one was, it's called a contact switch. And basically, with its distance to the magnet, it shows it on the website as either open or closed. So when it gets close, it shows that it's closed. And then as it gets further, it shows that it's open. So like the way that this would be used is like on a door. You put it on the door so that every time that the door opens, it would show it on the website that the door is open. This is the project I've been working on so far. This is an arrow sign. basically pointing that way, which basically has a ticker timer that goes that way and then turns gently off. It 
This is the Sunfounder Raspberry Pi Smart Video Card. It starts out as 50, you can move it any time the speed is high or as low as you 